outline ready to go. So if you look over here where my mouse cursor is, I have my layers uh, ready to select again, two slices of Velveeta cheese. There we go. Uh, we have our stock photo from last time. We're gonna go down here to this button right here that says create new layer. If you click that, you will see that it creates layer two. Double click on the text right there of layer two and I want you to call this one outline, O-U-T-L-I-N-E, then you can click off of it. If you want to, you could go in and change the color of outline. Once again, you just double click here and yada yada, but there's no other settings that we need to change with outline. So I'm gonna leave mine red. All right, now that <clears throat> we have our layer business done, we can actually close layers. You won't need to look at that for quite some time. We're gonna use the brush tool to outline. If you look over here on the left side of my screen where I have it selected right now, you will see a paintbrush that is perfect. You could alternatively just hit the letter B as in brush that will select it as well. Uh, don't worry about what your stroke and fill is because as soon as you start brushing, it will automatically change for you, believe it or not. You can pick anywhere that you want to start. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in and uh, we'll take care of his uh, like forearm guard here. The one thing I do want to go over though is the brush size. Let me go ahead and make a little stroke at the moment and you'll see my brush size right now. Um, if I were to, I want you to look at your keyboard. To the right of the letter P, there are two brackets. There's left bracket and right bracket. Left bracket, every time you click it or leave it held down, it will decrease the size of your brush. So ready, I, I hit it three times. That's the size of that. I'm gonna go one, two, three. Now I'm back to normal. Let me go one, two, three larger and I'll show you the difference. There you go. So you have a wide range of brush sizes. Um, Good news, bad news with it. The bad news is, is that ultimately in the end it won't matter because there won't be any outline. We're going to fill them in with color. The good news is, is that changing them up as you work will help you when you get to nitty gritty detail part. You probably want to make it smaller just so you can see more stuff. Um, if you make a brush line that you don't like, there's a couple ways that you can delete it. You can hold down the command key and hit Z that undoes one step, one step. <coughs> so if I do it again, there. <coughs> so if I do it again there, that other one's gone. Or if you look up here in the top left, the selection tool, hotkey V, black arrow right there, uh, you can literally go in and select individual brush strokes. Like I'm gonna grab just the small one right now and hit delete. Every time you let go of a brush stroke, it becomes a literal new object. So you can go in and manually select them and hit the delete key to delete them. So I'm gonna hit B for brush again. And I'm just gonna make a few marks around his uh, arm guard here. I'm gonna start by going around the outsides right here. Uh, and then, you know, let periodically, I'm just going to let go. Um, I'm gonna have, try to have like a separate video or discussion about the best way to draw on the trackpad. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but I promise once you do get it, you're gonna be really comfortable with it within a few classes. So uh, don't sell yourself short or give up or anything like that right away, or really ever, I guess. Um, after you have a little bit of the outline of, or like the outside of the wrist guard, you can start getting more into the nitty gritty. Like I said, though, from a while ago, you want to make sure that there's no holes or gaps. I'm going to decrease brush size right here. All this looks about like the same-ish kind of color, so I'm going to block that off. And then I want this lava blocked off as well. Um, I'm not gonna, I might not get it like one for one, but I do generally want to capture it. So we'll go something like that and then like that. So that is pretty detailed. I am getting maybe too detailed. Be careful that you, you know, still have enough time to finish your artwork. So something like that would be good. Right here, there is a gap, but I do see a little lava mark. So I might kind of like come down around with it and do something like that. Let me go ahead and fill that in. Uh, we'll get this lava mark up here. And then I'm gonna, again, look at my color. So I want that filled in. We got a little bit of a darker shade over there. Um, and then maybe like one more general little mark right here, like a gap mark. Um, and you know what though, this does look a little darker. So we're gonna cut that line off right there because inside that I think is a little darker. One last section, here we go, and then I hopefully by then I think you guys will have the idea. Alright, so, uh, let me zoom out a little bit here. 
that's like a decent bit done for like two seconds, you know, right? If I go back to my layers and then I hit this eyeball right here on stock photo, then you can get a look of just what your outline looks like. So it's a pretty good way to think about it. Um, if you're not confident that you'll get your whole character done, I would highly recommend that you start at the top, work your way at the bottom, because then uh, whenever we're done the outline in, in class, you can just cut it to where it is and crop it and start coloring. So if y'all don't mind, start at least towards the top, get the top section done first, and then work your way down. Here I am starting below, but I, I will from now on start from top and go down. Uh, in the next video, you'll be able to just see me work, probably no audio. So um, good luck and have fun.